A new law that stems from the deadly mass shooting in Las Vegas took effect in Connecticut today. There's now a ban on bump stocks here in our state. Channel 3's Eva Zamaris breaks it all down for us. One year ago, 58 people were killed and hundreds more were injured in Las Vegas, marking the deadliest mass shooting incident committed by one person in modern U.S. history. This tragedy prompted Connecticut lawmakers to take action against bump stocks. If you take a small piece of plastic, a bump stock, and put it on a semi-automatic rifle, you effectively turn it into an automatic rifle and circumvent the laws on the books in the state of Connecticut. Starting today, it's a Class D felony, punishable by up to five years in prison and up to a $5,000 fine. For anyone to sell, purchase, possess, or manufacture a bump stock and other enhancements that increase the rate of fire for semi-automatic weapons. The bill passed overwhelmingly with bipartisan support and was signed by Governor Dana Malloy back in May. Unfortunately, this state has had other tragedies that have compelled us to act. On the steps of Waterbury City Hall, elected officials, members of the Waterbury Police Department and Democratic candidates that will be on the ballot in November address this new law. They acknowledge Connecticut has some of the strictest gun laws in the country. So while we're very proud that Connecticut has been a leader in that area, we have more work to do. There's been pushback from some. Eyewitness News reached out to the Connecticut Citizens Defense League to get their take on this new law. CCDL's President Scott Wilson told us in part, these components have never been owned or used by the overwhelming vast majority of gun owners. He says the act of bump firing certain types of firearms is easy to accomplish with no bump stock whatsoever. Wilson went on to say, in truth, the new law does not accomplish what proponents of the legislation have claimed. Connecticut now joins several other states that have banned bump stocks, including neighboring Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.